What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, King Gaming. Welcome back to the channel. I, I might sound a little angry right now. I'm gonna start this shit off by saying... Stop playing with my fucking name. Sometimes I can't f***ing stand people. This has nothing to do with the story I'm about to tell you, but I gotta vent real quick. So I just got home, right? I'm just getting home, just walking in the door. I'm coming to make this video for you right now, right? I'm on the bus planning what I'm about to do. On the bus... Like, I'm about to come in here, tell this story, but no, this happens. So I get off the bus, and when I get off the bus, it's a green light for me to cross the street, but by the time I get, like, when I get off the bus, there's usually a bunch of cars lined up, like, in front of the door that I use to get off of the buses. A bunch of cars are lined up that I have to go around in order to get to the part where I gotta, it's real complicated, but you, follow me. So after I get around those cars and try to cross the street, my light is now red and the bus can go past. So two buses go past because it was a it was the bus that I was on and then there was another bus behind it. I'm sitting there waiting, letting cars go past and all of that, and then my light is about to start turning green. I can tell because the light going this way is about to turn red. You know when there's a yellow light, that's signaling for the cars that's going this way to slow down because the light is about to turn green for people going this way. So the light turns yellow and for, for people going this way. I'm going this way, cars are going this way. So the light turns yellow for people going this way. I, I'm about to start going. I, I check myself before I go because the light's still yellow. The, light, the yellow light is just telling them to slow down. They don't have to necessarily stop. So I wait for the light to turn red and then I go to cross. Now before I cross and the light is still yellow this way, I see a car. And it's not like she was really close going down the street. She was not close at all. She was at least halfway down the street. And the light turns red and I proceed to go. I'm right here, right? And she's all the way over here. So in my head, in my right mind, I'm like, somebody's gonna stop. She slams on the brakes like she was about to hit me or something like that. We were a great distance from each other. So I hear her hunk her horn. I take my headphones. I always listen to the new Kevin Gates. So that might be the reason why I'm a little amped up right now. So she rolls down her window and said, I was gonna keep going. I could have hit you. Now I could have turned around and said, you was about to run a red light. What'd you want me to do? But I just put my headphones in. I decided to be respectful today. And I walked back into the house and talked shit about her. So to the bitch in the black Nissan Altima, I want you to know that somebody in the world hates you. Now let's get on to the video. Now today I'm going to tell you guys a story that's really a mystery to me still to this day. Like, seriously, I honestly don't know how the hell this happened. So this whole thing started, I don't know how long ago this was. This was this is definitely a great while ago. I don't even think I've ever told anybody about this. So a while ago, we had this neighbor, he's now gone, but our next door neighbor, we he was... A disgusting guy like this guy was disgusting there's another story I could tell you guys about him it's very inappropriate but it, may, it might be just something I throw into a commentary if it comes up but this guy is disgusting that's what you need to know for this story he's a disgusting guy he did not take care of his house like if you were if you were to look at his porch his porch had like a a dent like it, his porch was caving in the reason rain was getting to his porch is because the uh ceiling over, over his porch it was broken so rain was easily getting onto the porch so the porch was caving in and all of that his house was just a mess he since then moved out well he didn't move out i think he got kicked out or i don't know what the hell happened to that guy he might have been paying rent on his house or something like that but my mom isn't paying rent in the house this she owns this house so what's happening over there is damaging our house she has to come out of her pocket for that well not has to this is past tense but when all of this was going on the damage of his house would then affect our house and then and then the fact that she owns the house would mean that she has to come out of her own pocket for that like she's not paying rent or anything like that so the thing i was talking about his ceiling how his ceiling was kind of broken well that just leaves open range for animals to get in there and that they did so squirrels would go in there and like build nests and shit like that it was disgusting you know they would go in there it would i don't know how many would be in there but so i would always think like if they they're up there and they're that close to his house. Wouldn't they have access into his house? That would that would always be my question about that. Well, I soon found out. This is creepy thinking about this. This is I think this is the most creepiest thing that ever happened to me. By the way, I found this feature on my desk where I can like scroll this thing out. And like if I scroll it forward, then I won't be able to lean back as much. But if I scroll it backward like all the way to as to where it can't even scroll backwards anymore. I can lean all the way back, fam. This is excellence right here. So we're dealing with all of that drama over there, his house being disgusting and all of that. And before this big thing happened, 
I start to like I I, I can't explain it, but I know I I know what I saw. People wouldn't believe me, but I say nobody would believe me in the house. But I would say I think I see something crawling around in here. They don't want no mouse or anything like that. This is bigger than a goddamn mouse. I know what the hell a mouse looks like. So I would tell like my mom and my sister. Nobody wants to fucking believe me. So me and my sister are just sitting downstairs. I think we were watching TV or so. I don't know what the hell we were watching. We were watching something, and I know where we hear something like scratching like this. That's actually accurate. Actually not. Then out of nowhere, guess what the fuck we saw? A goddamn squirrel in the middle of the fucking living room. We got up and ran to the door. I swear to God, we were out of that. We were we were out of the house. Like we ran through the front door. We were out of the house so fast. We did not want to go back in there. We had our pajamas on. I think this was like December. We were out there. It was cold as hell outside. First thing. I <laughs> The first thing we did was call our mom, right? We were telling her what was happening. And she was like, what the hell you want me to do about it? She she was at work. So me and my sister, we got the hell out of there. We went back into the house, which was a struggle. We took five minutes to like muster up the courage to go back into that goddamn house, pack our bags, and we got on the bus and went to our grandmom's house. We got the hell out of there. I don't know how, but my mom stayed there. I mean, she called she called the exterminator because that's all, that's all we could do, but because the exterminator wasn't able to come that day. So I don't know how the hell she slept in there. I don't know how she fell asleep, knowing that it was a wild goddamn animal in the house. Either I'd have got out the house or I wouldn't have slept that night. But she had that, man. I, me and my sister got the hell out of there. So the exterminator comes and he assumes that the, like the squirrel came from somewhere in the basement i don't this remains a mystery me this is why i said this remains a mystery to me today because i don't know how the hell it got in there so he put one of those traps down there so there was like something that he put in there like i guess it was i don't i, I want to say some some sort of food he put in there so somehow the squirrel managed to go in there get the food because we we checked the trap the next morning somehow the squirrel managed to go in there get the food go back out without even getting caught in the trap. I don't know how the hell he did it. Goddamn magician. So the next day, I remember this moment so vividly. Me and my sister are walking outside to the store and we look up at the house and we see the goddamn squirrel sitting in the window. He wasn't sitting in the window on the outside, he was sitting in the window on the inside. And we could see him sitting up there. So we immediately run back in the house and my mom calls the exterminator after we tell her. He rushes over there. And he goes into uh, he goes into the room and he closes the door behind him and all of that. And all we hear is a bunch of rumbling and tussling and all of that. We didn't care what he did in there. I, we didn't really care if he broke anything. Just as so long as he got that thing the hell out of here. And that he did. It took him like I don't know, probably like 45 minutes of him trying to catch the squirrel and all of that. He brought it back down in a bag holding it. Talking about y'all want to see. Get that thing the hell out of here. Like take it far away. We don't want anything that's crafty enough. To to get inside a house back in this area like take them out of this state or something like that put them down if you need to so yeah that's a story about one of the craziest things that's ever happened in this house and probably one of the craziest things that's happened in my life and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna see my king game squad next one hope you enjoy why the fuck do i keep hitting my desk every time i do an outro i'm out peace